Welcome class to Meganomics 101 how to dye your eyebrows purple tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you a method on how to do your eyebrows purple that is a little less harsh than bleach. I'm going to be using Wella, a capful of Wella 740 and a half mixed with a capful of 30 volume cream developer, which is better than a regular liquid developer because it's going to minimize the drippage and getting it into your eye. This is still a chemical though, so be mindful, do the patch test, follow the directions to see if you're allergic. Don't hurt yourself to get your eyebrows the color that you're looking for. I just mix it together. And what this is, it's a lightener, and it's going to lighten and take the edge off. So I finished mixing. Make sure to clean your eyebrows off before you start. Any excess makeup or oil or residue can alter the color. So I just go ahead and take a makeup wipe before applying the color. What I do is I take one of my spoolie brushes and I really pack that color into the brush. And what that does is it's going to enable me, especially if your eyebrows are very thick and uh, unruly, to really pack it in. This, as it oxidizes, gets very, very dark. It actually doesn't dye your skin. So if you get some off of the eyebrow or too far out of the brow, it's okay. The only reason why you're going to want to clean off the excess dye around the eyebrows is because this is not milk and honey we're putting on our faces. These are chemicals and if, when you leave them on long enough, it can cause blistering and burning. So be careful, do your patch test like I said. Do your patch test and take off the excess color around. As you let it sit, periodically wipe the eyebrow off and apply more color. This way you can see how fast your eyebrows are taking to the color. If it can take anywhere from five minutes to a half an hour depending on the thickness of your eyebrows. If you've done this a few times and you know how long the color is going to take, still keep reapplying more color throughout your waiting time. Because as this oxidizes, it's going to get air bubbles and you'll have patchiness or parts of the hair is, are not going to take. So just keep reapplying as the time goes on. So right now I'm checking to see how my eyebrows have taken. And some eyebrows are thicker in one part of the eyebrow than the other. So it is always good to take it off periodically to check where they're at. And in the areas that are more, th that are, in the areas that are thicker, to apply a little bit more. And sometimes maybe the ends weren't properly covered in dye, so you just gotta focus on and again, always keep reapplying. When you reach your desired level of lightness, simply wipe it off. Now we're ready for our dye. I'm using Beyond the Zone Color Jams, Purple Passion. You can use any color of your choice, but this one was at Sally's for six bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit in my porcelain bowl, a metal bowl, a glass bowl, uh, and not a lot because I'm just doing my eyebrows. Note that this will only last you a day or two. Because you're washing your face, because the hair is not as long to hold the color, this is only going to last you a couple of days. So I go ahead and I'm going to use a lip brush or some type of synthetic brush. I'm not going to use my spoolie for this. I want to be very, very accurate and I don't want to get excess dye around the eyebrows. And I simply start at the start point of my eyebrow and paint in my desired shape. And that's how you dye your eyebrows purple. For all other eyebrow information, visit meganomics101.com. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.